Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're going to look at how to improve the performance of render time with your existing graphics card. Okay, so no, that isn't a clickbait title. I actually found a way that I could improve my render times in DaVinci Resolve. The best thing that I could do was to go pick up an inexpensive graphics card that I now use to power the GUI. So everything you see generated by my new 1070, which is just a simple blower style NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. It is stock clocks. It was out of a HP workstation that somebody had bought. And it was the cheapest thing I could find on eBay that I thought would power that UI pretty well. So Lexi and I put it into our workstation and let's check out what happened. Loading my standard benchmark that I've used in prior videos linked up here. We're going to use this timeline that gets increasing in complexity, starting with ungraded footage and going through noise reduction and other special features. I've configured my workstation with the 1070 as the GUI only and the 2080 Ti leveraging the CUDA cores. Now this was the auto selection. I could also go to CUDA. The critical thing that I checked and unchecked was use display GPU for compute. So that would be this 1070, which I've got my monitors driving off of out of the back of my computer. The 2080 Ti is in the computer and just looks like it's bored doing nothing. However, if we check our statistics software, and the best thing that I've found to do this, uh, to make it pretty easy for us to see, is to load up the task manager. And here I can get a simple performance chart for the two graphics cards. Here's the 1070. You can see it's working pretty hard currently, and that's because it's doing the screen capture for OBS, which is what I use to record my screen. And it's also rendering this workspace here. As I play through it, you'll notice the 2080 Ti starts to kick up a little bit. So it is being used for compute in the background, but the windowing and everything that's showing is being done out of the 1070. More importantly, when I get over to the render tab, here in delivery, you see I've got, again, my standard choices, and I've run this benchmark across several different configurations. In here, I used the NVEC, NVENC uh, encoder, as well as the standard native encoder and rendered across every one of my graphics cards and with the mix of the 1070 and the 2080 Ti running the GUI. Let's see exactly what that looked like. Looking at our benchmark, starting with the RX 580 running by itself, you can see that render took 2,787 seconds. The 1070 flexes its muscles and shows you it only takes about 1500 seconds. When using the NVNC NVIDIA hardware encoder on the 1070, it takes 1375 seconds. And when you're looking at the 1080 Ti, uh, we're down towards around 10 and a half minutes, which is 634 seconds. So we're dropping, uh, going from the NVNC encoder in the 1070, moving up to the 2080 Ti NVENC encoder, we're getting significant performance improvement. I had surmised previously that the hardware had not changed, but the reports that I read on that were inaccurate, as we've proven here. The NVENC encoder that is in the Turing graphics cards is significantly better than those that are in the Pascal, which was the 10 series. However, and this is the exciting thing, when you take the 2080 Ti, you let it use its built-in hardware encoder, and you let the 1070 manage the GUI, it takes 411 seconds which is a significant improvement over the 2080 Ti running by itself at 533 seconds. So what did we learn today? As you might expect, if you offload some of the work that isn't value add in your encoding, you're able to execute faster. Is it worth it for everybody? Probably not. Is it worth it for me? Well, frankly, it saves me a couple minutes on each render, so no, probably not. But it is a very interesting use case and something that could benefit some of the creators out there that are working with longer render times and longer footage. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to click subscribe and send me a note down in the comments. What is it that you're interested in? What facet of this 
could help you make hardware choices. Have a great day.